Hey what's going on guys, it's Combo here. Today I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops 2 gameplay. This is from one of the first few months of Black Ops release, I think in the first month or two. So I was using here the PDW with the um, target finder scope and probably the newbiest setup you can have in the game, right? I mean 65 bullets, oh extended mags too. Look at this, I'm just noobing it up here. Sorry about that guys, but this gameplay like I said is from a while ago. I didn't really know about these uh, attachments or anything like that back then. I was just trying them out, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I've been uploading some gameplays that I've gotten um, from a while ago. Uh, recently, a lot of my videos have been old, old gameplays. I mean, like five or six months old. Um, I haven't recorded really anything fresh um, gameplay-wise, I guess you could say, but I will hop on soon. I, I, I think the last or the most recent gameplay was the face cam gameplay, but I haven't really been playing that much Black Ops 2 on the Wii U, and I haven't been recording that much either. So. Um, I have a ton of stock gameplay, so I'm just taking advantage of that. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Just rambling on for the first minute of this video. But I do hope you guys enjoy the gameplay nonetheless. Today we're going to be talking about some more Call of Duty Ghosts news or information or speculation slash discussion about uh, Call of Duty Ghosts for the Wii U. And specifically we're going to be talking about downloadable content. But the first thing I wanted to do is to let you guys know that Call of Duty Ghosts uh, official website or you know, CallOfDuty.com slash Ghost has officially, finally, um, put the Wii U pre-order thing up on their website, so you can now pre-order uh, Call of Duty Ghosts from the official Call of Duty website, um, even though it was announced about, like, two, three weeks ago, uh, Call of Duty just a little bit lazy, or they just don't care that much about the Wii U, that it took them that long to, to list it up there, but if you go on the website, you can find the Wii U there. And it's interesting because there's a few things to take note of, and it's happened in the past, it's going to happen again. Um, and that is that there is no prestige or hardened mode available for the Wii U, it's just the basic edition, you just get the game and the game only. And however, there is a, an interesting picture, I'll put it up on screen, I'll, I'll pop a few pictures up on screen throughout this video, but... Um, you can see that there is the freefall bonus map, dynamic uh, bonus map here in the bottom right hand corner of the picture even when you click over it onto the Wii U and to me that doesn't mean we'll be getting the free fall bonus map even though it has been speculated that we will be getting it um, if you guys remember back from last year we uh, kinda had the same problem with Nuketown 2025 and I'll pop that picture up on screen as well if I can find it but pretty much last year we were promised that we would get the Nuketown 2025 bonus map for the Nintendo Wii U if we pre-ordered it. So a lot of people pre-ordered it thinking we would get the map and it turns out that the game um, when it was released we actually didn't get the bonus map or anything like that. Some false advertising uh, if you ask me but they eventually changed it on the website. I remember Amazon actually sent the Wii U version out uh, like a few days early and the people who got the game were supposed to get the free fall or excuse me, the Nuketown 2025 code inside the game uh, package or whatever, but it didn't come with it. So, in my opinion, I think that's going to happen here again with this um, free fall bonus map. Uh, just because it, I'm just following trends. In the last few years, we haven't gotten, we've never gotten any DLC on a Nintendo console. So I'm just going to keep continuing that. Um, I don't think that there will be enough players again this year or this time around to be receiving downloadable content, but. I may be wrong with this bonus map, maybe we will receive the bonus map, um, you know, just just the bonus map because if you think about it, map packs and the number of players on the Wii U would equal probably like two, maybe three matches total um, with people playing the map pack if, if they are released and it just wouldn't be good for, for matchmaking or anything like that. But um, we'll see in the future, probably they will change it within the next month or so, change the picture and take off the freefall bonus map because if we're not going to be receiving the prestige and hardened edition for the Wii U, um, that suggests to me that we won't be receiving any downloadable content for the game at all, including the bonus map. So, I mean, in the, in the prestige and hardened editions, you receive some in-game downloadable content like camos and um, things to, you know, increase things more things to customize your sh soldier with um, and that's all add-on that's all downloadable content and like I said it's not available for the Wii U so we probably won't be receiving the the bonus map either that's just my idea um, it looks like we're not going to be getting any downloadable content this time around either but there's always that slim chance there's always that slim possibility you know even for Black Ops 2 they never gave us a straight no you would never receive downloadable content you know so it's always kind of in the back of of my head that there's a there's a 
small chance that they may decide one day to to try a downloadable map pack for the Wii U and see how it goes. Um, because you know, if they're thinking you know a straight no, I think they would just come out and say it rather than to you know just keep edging us on and saying there's no information at this time or because whenever we get some kind of response from the companies involved it's always that there is no information at the time if it was a guaranteed no I'm pretty sure they would come out and say it so like I said there's always that slim chance we'll just have to wait and see again um, with the release of the Wii U I was sure we were going to be receiving downloadable content but Apparently, you know, with this past year in Black Ops 2 and no DLC whatsoever, we've had the same game since November. Um, the same game patch-wise in the last five months. We haven't received a patch in five months. So, you know, it looks like the Nintendo Call of Duty trend will continue into Ghost. Maybe we'll see a change of, change of heart, but I'm just following trends. I don't think we will be getting downloadable content, map packs, or anything like that. I'm sorry to be pessimistic here, but... I'm just, like I said, following the trends of the last few years, but leave your comments in the comment section below, or, or just let me know what you guys are thinking about this. You know, do you think we will actually receive some downloadable content um, this time around, or, you know, I think sales numbers will be higher than they were in Black Ops 2, but not much, and that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Like I said, sorry to be pessimistic in this video, but uh, nonetheless just giving my thoughts. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.